Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Adriana and as you can see, I am not in my kitchen. Today I have a very different video for you. I am in my office, which by the way, I do wanna share with you because it's brand new and I just decorated it in my home. Anyway, I wanna share with you something that happened to me these last couple months and it's the reason why I haven't been posting new recipes. I think the information might be of value to you, so I'm gonna share it, okay? so. In the last couple months, I got really sick. In December, I had some depression and I got the flu. My husband's family was here and after they left, I started feeling really good. But then I started developing these weird rashes on my body, mainly in my stomach area and on my back. In about two weeks, they started spreading through my arms and my legs and I got a little bit concerned. They got bigger in size as well. It was really scary to me. So I thought, I was like, okay, what did I change in these last couple months? Or did I eat something that I may be reacting to? You know, is this a food allergy? So I looked online and I couldn't find a lot of information and I couldn't see pictures similar to what I have. And I am a true believer that food is medicine. And since I hate going to the doctor, I decided, okay, I'm gonna do an elimination diet to see if it helps. And if it doesn't, then I'll go and see the doctor. So I decided, you know, I eat very clean no matter what. I don't eat any gluten, grains, soy, refined sugars, refined oils. I have a very clean diet, but I decided to cut even more things from my diet and follow the autoimmune protocol because I thought that the condition I had was a reaction to maybe over drinking kombucha the, that's the only thing that I can think of because that's the only thing that I changed in the past last two months and as you know kombucha has live bacteria and yeast so I thought, okay, maybe I have yeast overgrowth in my gut and I have to heal that, right? So, okay, I'm, I decided to go on the autoimmune protocol, which eliminates certain inflammatory foods that cause gut health problems. So I had to cut out from my diet eggs, nuts and seeds, chocolate, um, fruits. It was very, very hard in the beginning, especially not ha not being able to eat eggs and the nuts and seeds. For me, that was the hardest, you know, because I like snacking on nuts sometimes and the eggs. I eat eggs every morning. But anyway, I, I had to do it. I am a true believer that food is medicine. So I did it for two weeks. I would I would start with a cup of bone broth. As you know, bone broth is high in nutrients. It helps reduce the inflammation in your joints. It's high in collagen. And to make it even more anti-inflammatory, I would add turmeric and black pepper, which together they, re they act to reduce inflammation even more and some ginger. So I would start my day with a couple bone broth and then about two hours later, I would have a big meal, which would consist of some kind of protein and some low carb vegetables. I was mostly eating salads with some protein and then I would have my dinner at about six o'clock. So I would have three meals a day and the only snack I would have in between was before lunch and what I ate was coconut coconut they there's plenty of coconut here in Hawaii where I live so I would have some fresh coconut water or the meat and so the biggest thing for me that I think might help you also is okay I was trying to heal this rash on my body but in the process I cut out these other foods that made me feel really really good okay I lost a ton of weight in a week about five, six pounds in just one week. I felt amazing. Like my energy level just shot up. 
I went surfing a few times and I had more energy than before. The only thing that happened, this is a little embarrassing, is that I did get constipated and that was not fun. But I started taking some probiotics and that helped right away. And the key for me to stick to this diet was to prepare everything ahead of time. I like grilling, so I would grill three, four pounds of some kind of protein and I would have that ready in the fridge whenever I get hungry. The key was to not let myself get hungry, right? So I would have that ready in the fridge and then I would just you eat that with some kind of low carb vegetable, mainly salads and some broccoli, cauliflower, zucchini, mushrooms. And I would add a ton of fresh herbs to my salads. I would add as many as I could find because as you know, herbs have the highest nutrient content of any leafy greens. So I would add that to reduce the inflammation even more. And I don't know if it was what I didn't eat that reduced the inflammation on my body, but it's been about a month now and my rashes have gone down. I think they're starting to disappear. I did go to the doctor after two weeks and the doctor looked at it really quick and he was like, okay, this is pitarias rosea. He's like, oh, we don't know what causes it, but we think it's a viral infection or it's an inflammation of the skin and it just might go away with time. And I was like, okay, God, so there's nothing I can do? And I, and I told him about what I was eating. And he's like, that should help, but we can't tell for sure. So I wanted to share this information with you because it might be of value to you. Who knows, maybe you get this condition in the future or you know somebody that might get it. And you know, the main point here is that, okay, I don't know if it was the diet that I ate that started to reduce this, these rashes on my body, but food is medicine. So you eat well, you're gonna feel well, and your body is just, it's a natural reaction that you're just gonna feel better. So I highly encourage you to eliminate all of those processed foods from your diet and just add real foods, eat real foods. There's nothing more nutritious than a variety of vegetables. The more, the bigger the variety that you eat, the better it is, the more nutrients you're gonna get. And obviously you need some protein and some fat so you don't get hungry. For me, the fats I was eating was, I would add some avocados, some olives, you know, some coconut oil to my salads. I would eat as much fat as I could so I wouldn't get hungry. And that was a huge, huge thing I did because otherwise I would just be starving all day. So anyway, Thank you guys for watching. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I promise I will be posting new videos, new recipes here on the channel and on my blog very soon. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching.